<laughs> okay, let's get to Samantha on there from London on line one. Samantha, good morning. Good morning, Matthew. Hello, panel. Um, there's nothing wrong with Australians. Unfortunately, you don't want to live next to them. Why not, Samantha? Well, I've lived in the particular house all my life, and basically, the house next door got bombed. So when the builder who lived there rebuilt it, he did it in a different style. Right. So their kitchen overlooks ours because it's higher level. Right. And the nice neighbours that used to live there moved out and rented it to an agent who filled it just with two Aussies and his, their girlfriend. Right. We blinked. There could have been 10, 15 people living there. They had parties every single week. They, the parties went out for hours and hours the next morning. And the pierce de resistance is when you got up in the morning and you looked at the carnage, either the party was still going on or you open your back door, there's pizzas, there's beer bottles, there's a vomit, and then you see naked people walking up and down all wearing their girlfriends. You see? So, 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 I so, want to hang on, hang on. <laughs> so, 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 hang on. You, you see, how many sorry, times? Bob Garden, and you they see? were vomiting there. It's just, it's where they were vomiting. Samantha. I don't them, but don't live next to them. Samantha, so you see, oh, sorry, naked, you see naked people in your garden? No. No, in their garden, because their okay. garden is higher than ours, so All they right. walk around in so, their garden. So there is an upside then. On purpose. I, Samantha, <laughs> I'd love to live next door to these people. Really? And frankly, they're gone, and I'm glad they'll never come back. Oh. Now the neighbours here, we complain so much to the agents that they change them, and the people there are absolutely lovely. But I'm sorry, if I ever moved and I went to buy a house and there were all these next door, they could keep it. I would no. rather live in it. Uh, no, I wouldn't live there. I no. wouldn't buy a house next to Be, honest. That brings, Be brings honest, though. How many times did you see them walking around naked? You could... It's weekly. Well, you should have only looked once. And would you stop throwing your beer bottles and pizza over their fence? It's like stum, 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 stum. <laughs> That's going well, this one, isn't it? Thank you for the call. We've got time for another? OK, let's go to yeah. Erica from Manchester Online team. OK, uh, Erica. <laughs> That's going well, this one, isn't it? Thank you for the call. We've got time for another? OK, let's go to yeah. Erica from Manchester Online team. OK, uh, Erica, good morning. Good morning, Matthew. Good morning. So, uh, go on, Aussies, good neighbours? Yeah, I've never lived next door to an Aussie in uh, England, but I've been to Australia for six weeks and lived amongst them. They are the most friendly, wonderful people, and... Um, they're so generous, and as far as they're not liking the English, I found completely different um, opinion of them. And that lady who just spoke, what a generalisation. Yeah. Um, Aussies are not like that. No. Anybody can See, have parties. Erica, away. Erica, Erica, have you ever seen a naked Australian? Um, I haven't, no. Oh, <laughs> Australia. Have you not? OK. We, we can fix a lot of problems on this show. Uh, probably best to we wait till we're off air. Uh, Erica, thank you very much for the call. A little bit of uh, editorial balance. Always appreciated.